While Malaysian officials investigating Flight 370's disappearance have told U.S. investigators they have data that shows First Officers Fariq Hamid's phone connected to a cell tower near the city of Penang, Malaysia once a plane was airborne, what we still don't know is if Hamid's phone connected with other towers along the flight path. It's odd that the cell phone would have connected only with one cell tower. You might have thought that if the phone were on for a longer period of time that multiple cell towers would have picked it up. So it certainly is a little suspicious in terms of the information that we have at this point. Experts tell CNN the plane would also likely have been lower than 10,000 feet for a phone to connect to a cell tower, suggesting the plane may have been flying at a lower altitude at the time it passed over the area near Penang. Still, U.S. officials say there is no indication the co-pilot or anyone else on the plane made any actual calls. They say even if someone had tried to dial out from the plane, just because a tower connected to the phone doesn't mean a call would have gone through. By the time you're flying at 300 knots, 350, 400 knots, you're going to go through the cell phone range, cell phone areas so quickly that it doesn't even have time to make a, make a connection. One recent survey suggested 30 percent of U.S. passengers forget to turn off their phones in flight. That's one reason why experts say the idea that the cell tower connected only to Hamid's cell phone seems either highly unlikely or suspicious. If you were in the air, the passengers would have had their phones turned off or on airplane mode, so they would not have been transmitting. So it is certainly plausible that his could have been the only one on, since the passengers would have been respecting the rule not to have their phones on.